welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a bun for dance. My sister is going to be doing the bun. So we might be talking a lot. Oh yeah, I've not been talking on my YouTube channel for ages. Sorry guys, I've not posted in a while because I've been busy. Like, very busy. And yeah. Okay, make sure to like and subscribe. And let's go on to the video. These are the things you'll need for dance class. If you want me to do a tutorial of dan a dance show bun, I can do that. Comment down below if you want me to do that. The first thing you will need is hairspray. This acts like hairspray, but it's less strong. It, this is for taming baby hairs. you will need is a hairbrush for brushing out all the knots in your hair. The third thing you'll need is some bubbles to tie up your hair. And the fourth thing, the final thing, is some grips to hold in your hair. I have quite a lot, I have 250 in there. How do you know that? <laughs> Any bobby thing will work. So let's start the tutorial. Phoebe, come over here and start the bun. Hey guys, so the first step for doing a bun for class, and remember that this is for class, not a show, and obviously comment down below if you want to do a show, but the first thing you want to do, which is sort of kind of self-explanatory, is just brush through the hair to make sure that there are like no knots and that it is all smooth and evenly brushed through. Okay guys, so I've just moved the camera slightly up because you need to see obviously the bun but I'm just finishing up brushing through Grace's hair and if you were doing a bun for sure you would cover the hair in gel so that the all the hair going up into the ponytail would be smooth but because this is just class which Grace goes to every week we don't need to use that we can just tame the wispies with the hairspray should so all you want to do is you're going to want to brush up into a ponytail. This is just an average ponytail, nothing special. And for Grace's dance class, we usually go a bit higher than the crown of the head. So the crown of the head is around here. We just go like a slightly bit higher, diagonal from the ear. Obviously, you need to go to your dance teacher to specify whereabouts she wants the bun placed or, you can, or wherever you can choose. But usually the crown of the head or just above it works so i'm just going to keep brushing up into the ponytail so guys grace's hair is really fine which makes the hair going up into the ponytail really hard to make smooth but i think we've just about got it if i just brush these last pieces up and then also the back so the first so you're going to want to take your bobble and usually if it was for sure then um you'd use a matching hair color bobble but we don't have them, any of them in the house at the moment. So we're just going to use an ordinary black one. But honestly, you can't really see them. But it's always good to just make them match. I just need to centre this because it's a bit off-centre. So there we go. We just have an ordinary ponytail. So that's step one. So let's begin with step two. Okay, so step two can get quite difficult if you don't have a hairnet used. Especially if the hair is short and layered. Which Grace says it isn't that short, so we can sort of get away with it. But it's always good to be on the safe side, so I usually just take a bit of this hairspray like and I honestly just spray the ponytail a bit. This just gives it a bit of hold and something to work with than the just hair. So you're going to want to take the ponytail hair and just do a light twist. You don't want to do it too hard or too loose, like this. So it should be visibly seen as twistable, but the twists aren't like... I can't really describe it, you can see what's going on. And then you're going to want to take grips so I've just opened up the grip box and you're going to want to wrap around the bun around holding your hand and applying mass amount of pressure so this is optional of how you want to do it you can either pin it in as you go along or pin it in at the end and I prefer to do a bit of both but this time I've actually just done it once I've done so you just want to go in push underneath the bobble and into the head 
like this, as you can see. So you're gonna just want to go all around the bun, especially with the bits of pieces of hair that are flying out, and just slightly push them in. Now, if your bobby pin or grip or whatever you're using doesn't go in, just try taking it out and then repositioning it. So here we have a bit of flat, and you want to make sure the bun's flat against the head. So you need to just push the bit down and then grip it in. So you always need to make sure that the grips aren't hurting the dancer's scalp. Obviously don't like be too cruel, but like they might hurt as you're pushing them in obviously. But yeah, so as you can see, we're like three quarters of the way around the bun. And I'm just gonna do this part here. And then usually for a dance recital, you would put a net over the top to keep away any flyaways. And this is good with for people or dancers that have layered hair. Luckily Grace doesn't, so it's quite easy for us. But any dancer would still need to have apply a dance net, a hair net, sorry. So we're just gonna shove the last pin in here. Usually the last pins are quite hard because it's obviously overlaying the top buns. So now you have the bun in place on your child's head. Okay, so sorry this is getting a bit long, but to finish off, you are going to want to take the hairspray and also get your dancer to cover their eyes. And then you're gonna to want to just spray the bun. This just holds the bun in place with as well as the grips. And as you can see, Grace has got quite a few wispies and then this is what the hairspray will be for. We just spray it a tiny bit and then just push up with his hand. Obviously during dance these will fall out, but there's nothing massive. And also if your child's hair is quite short and there's like pieces falling out, which did used to happen on Grace's when it was quite short, you just get a bobby pin. And obviously bobby pins that match the child's hair so you can't really see it. But we just sort of spray it all over, push it up, and then yeah. So that is how you do a ballet bun for class. So now I'm just gonna do a quick overview. And so guys, if you just want to stand up, so this is what it will look like from the front. It will be quite flat, but that is how they go. And I believe that we've actually done this bun quite a bit too high, but this is just a good general bun. Like usually you will go from the side of their ear diagonally up to like there. So it needed to be like a bun back. But honestly, it's fine for now. So as you can see, all these pieces are fine. And if you just want to turn and face over here, this side are all fine. We do have a few bits coming over here, but they don't really matter because they won't go in. And obviously for shows, the gel would keep them up. So if you want to just face me and Grace. So that is how you do a quick and simple ballet bun. So this is the finishing product. It's quick and simple to do and keep my hair out my way in dance class. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make, once again, make sure to like and subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye.